I find myself hard pressed to imagine anything more democratic than the separation of church and state. In your video, you make the statement that the public space is for Christians and atheists. Uh, this shows a, a naive uh, assumption of a false dichotomy. Uh, the public space isn't just for Christians and atheists. The public space is for Christians and Hindus and Muslims and Buddhists and Sikhs and Jews. And within Christianity, it's for Protestants and Catholics and Mormons and Seventh-day Adventists and Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, the separation of church and state protects everyone from having religion, not of their choosing, imposed on them by others. How would you feel if you were an evangelical Baptist parent and your child came home from a publicly funded school and said, today the teacher passed out rosaries and taught us to pray the rosary, and we prayed the rosary for half an hour uh, during school time. Uh, suppose you had a child come home and say that uh, the art teacher had a shrine to Ganesh in her classroom and was encouraging the students to light incense in offering to Ganesh. Uh, what if the uh, staff of the school told the children uh, every day to get down on mats and face toward Mecca and pray to Allah? Uh, these are all impositions of religion on people using public facilities, and public institutions. The separation of church and state is not an issue of atheists versus Christians. It is an issue of making sure that the public institutions, which we all own, are not used to impose anything upon us that we do not choose. And it isn't just atheists who want separation of church and state. Uh, look at uh, former President Jimmy Carter, a very Christian man, a, an evangelical Christian his whole life. He strongly supports the separation of church and state. So no one is saying that Christians can't occupy the public space. No one is saying that uh, they can't pray in public. No one is saying that uh, they, they, they can't uh, discuss their Christianity publicly and openly. Uh, all we are saying is, as secularists, not just atheists, but as secularists, is that the public facilities, the public institutions that we all own, are not to be a place for spreading your religion or uh, imposing it on others. And uh, along that same line, it would be just as wrong for someone to use a public institution to uh, try and promote uh, the lack of belief in gods. It's just not supposed to be about religion. Your private personal life is supposed to be about religion. You can talk about it publicly all you want. You can't stand up and use a publicly owned institution to force your views on other people. <clears throat> In conclusion, I would just like to ask you to consider the centuries of bloody civil and international war that took place in Europe between different sects of Christianity, just within Christianity. This is the sort of conflict that secularists are trying to avoid when they say, please, Let's not involve religion in the government. Let's keep that a private, protected matter and just make the government about operating the day-to-day uh, -day activities of our lives. And let's not allow anyone the power to use public institutions as a cudgel to force their views on other people.